I have the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro right here, also known as the Poco F2 Pro. And today I'm going to show you how to unbrick this device if you have noticed that your smartphone is no longer booting into the Android operating system. So I recently had the Xiaomi.eu custom ROM put on here, which is just a de-bloated version of the MIUI ROM. And I went and installed the latest over-the-air update, and there's something in the change log about that specific update that mentioned compatibility issues with TWRP. I didn't see any detail, additional details about that other than the mention of compatibility issues. And I went ahead and installed the update anyway. And that's why I'm currently in a boot loop, which is fine because we can easily unbrick this device since we have already unlocked the bootloader. Now, if you have not unlocked the bootloader yet and your device is in a boot loop, instead of booting into fast boot mode, which I'm about to do, you need to boot into recovery mode and then perform a factory data reset. And I'll be linking to how to boot into recovery mode down in the video description for anybody who's not aware of how to do that. This is a bit more complex, but it does require us to have the bootloader unlocked. So if you have found yourself in a boot loop, we need to get into a powered down state. I did this by temporarily booting TWRP from ADB on my PC while in fast boot mode. And then from that, I was able to turn the device off. In either way, we need to boot the device into fast boot mode. We do that by just holding the power and the volume down button while the device is powered off. And after a few seconds, you're going to notice the device boots up into what is known as fast boot mode. Now from here, we need to download the Mi Flash program. We need to download the latest version of Xiaomi, the Mi UI firmware, which I'll, I'll be linking to the download page in the video description. Just make sure it matches the firmware you want to run. If you're wanting to run the Poco F2 global version of MIUI, download that. If you want to flash the Chinese version of MIUI, which I believe is currently needed to install various custom ROMs, then you'll want to download that. The issue is you want to download the fast boot version. When you go to that download page, you're going to see recovery ROM and you're going to see fast boot ROM. We're going to grab the fast boot ROM version. So once we have that set up on the PC, we have our phone in fast boot mode. I'm going to plug this into the PC with a USB cable and then I'm going to open up the Mi Flash program. So as I mentioned, we're going to need to download the fast boot version of the firmware. I downloaded this one. I extracted it into its own folder. So when you extract the contents of your of your firmware download, it's going to look like what is currently in this folder. And we're going to need to copy the entire file path right here so that we can go into the Mi Flash program. delete everything in this and just paste that entire folder contents. Now I have had issues when any of these folders in this path includes a space. As you saw before, I had it just set to a test folder. That may be the best bet if you're currently having issues getting it to flash properly. It may be because you have a space in there. So remember I have our phone in fast boot mode. It's connected to the PC with a USB cable. I've just pasted the file path to 
the fast boot ROM, which looks like this with all of these files. And now I'm going to click the refresh button right here. So if everything shows up or if everything goes correctly, you should see a device pop up right here. If you do not, then there's likely a USB driver or a USB cable or even a USB port related issue. Try changing ports, try changing cables, try installing a proper ADB and fastboot USB driver for Xiaomi devices. Now before we click the flash button, I just want to make sure that you look down here at the bottom. By default, the Mi Flash program highlights the clean all and lock version or option. And we don't want that, or I mean, at least I do not want to lock the bootloader. You may want to lock the bootloader. It's up to you. So for me, I'm just going to select the clean all option. With that done, all I have to do is click the flash button. And we're going to see some progress bars go across the screen right here. For each of the various images that are currently being flashed to our Poco F2 Pro or our Redmi K30 Pro. You can see we're getting different outputs for each of those image files right here. And we just need to be patient right now. The firmware that we're flashing here is many gigabytes. And we're just going to wait. Try not to unplug the USB cable as it could result in a hard bricked device depending on what it was currently in the middle of trying to flash Again, we're just going to be patient. The device, once it's all done, the device is likely to reboot on its own. So you can either continue watching this progress bar, which will either pop up a success message or a fail message if anything messes up. you're likely going to see something like this where the progress bar looks full. It looks like it should be at 100%. It looks like it should give us another status message here or that it should switch to the next image so that this elapsed time resets. This is perfectly normal. If you watched the video that I did showing you how to switch from the Redmi K30 Pro to the Poco F2 Pro, basically switching from the Chinese version of MIUI to the global version of MIUI for this same device, then you'll remember this is normal. And as long as nothing happens to the connection, don't try to unplug it. Don't try to press the flash button again.
And believe me, I know how tempting it is to think that me flash is frozen, me flash is messed up, maybe it just isn't recognizing the connection anymore, it just continues to just want to count. This is normal, just wait it out. As you can see, it moved on, just as it should. We're just going to let it finish up. There we go, we got a success message right here. Our screen has turned black. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the USB cable and it's going to reboot on its own. We've just gotten past the splash screen. Now we're on to the boot animation. Now remember, we have just basically done a massive factory data reset on this device. That means our first boot up back into Android is going to take a lot longer than normal. Remember, Android has to set up everything. It has to optimize all of those apps that are pre-installed. So just like before, we're just going to be patient. As long as we're not seeing the same boot loop issue that, we, that caused us to do this Unbrick tutorial in the first place, then we're good to go. My device was boot looping at the first Redmi splash screen. And it wasn't even able, it wasn't even letting me boot into recovery mode. Not a stock recovery mode or the TWRP recovery mode that I had previously installed. What this did is it took all of the firmware files, whether it's the Android system, whether it's the bootloader, 
image, whether it's the recovery image, it took all those original firmware images from Xiaomi and we flashed it onto this device. We have reset the entire phone and it's as if we basically pulled the phone out of the box that it came in with whatever firmware version we flashed onto it. And there we are. Now we can go ahead and activate Android, activate the MIUI. And there we have it. That is how to completely unbrick the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro, also known as the Poco F2 Pro and get back onto stock Xiaomi MIUI firmware.